Now, let's talk about one of Nigeria's most celebrated exports, besides jollof rice, of course. Professor Wale Shoyinka is not just a writer, playwright, and poet, but also an activist, critic, and all-round intellectual spark blog. The Nobel Laureate has hit back at his support, as supporters of Peter Obi for criticizing his comments during an interview on, an, on a television station where he described the obedient movement as one of the most repulsive of Putin concussions he had ever encountered in any political arena. Shoinka was reacting to the backlash he faced for criticizing the com comments of the Labour Party's vice presidential candidate, Dati Baba Ahmed, who said in an interview that Nigeria had no president-elect despite INEC's declaration Professor Shoinka has now stated that he would be willing to offer himself as an, for an open live debate with Labour Party vice presidential candidates. Adekuli, this is, <laughs> I've, I've never seen the prof as um, angry, have this angry before. And um, let's start from reaction of this, uh, the supporters of Peter Obi particularly. Since the day before yesterday, so like four days ago, if you go on Twitter and if you see the outrage against Professor Wale Shoinka, people that they've not even seen him, people that did not even read his work, they don't even know how he became <laughs> Nobel laureate. <laughs> but, you know, everybody just see anything and they feel that, look, because I'm a supporter of Peter Obi and that qualifies you to, to ride rough shot on anybody. Uh, honestly, uh, I must confess to you, I'm extremely unhappy with the state of public, public discourse in our country. You must not raise your voice against, we are only talking about Peter Obi, not only Peter Obi. Raise or criticize, raise your voice or criticize, you know, any public figure. You will see his aides, his supporters, you know, tearing you into pieces. And the way they do it, they use so much violent language that sometimes I, I say, is this the same Nigeria? No. Because now we need to so Peter ignorant. Obi. Mm -hmm. We have been, especially the, the you know, the, the leaders and their followers. We have become a country where you must not raise your voice against anybody. The principal, you know, political leaders, you must not criticize anybody. And I said, what really meaning to what's really happening? Now, now we need to Peter Obi. I was shocked. You see all sorts of opinions. Some I saw somebody calling out the past of Professor Wolisu Inka, where he entered the studio. Uh, that, that should be 1965. 65, God bless you. <laughs> you know, when they wanted to uh, announce uh, Akintola, mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, no, this. So they said, <laughs> somebody with this <laughs> background who put a gun to, you know, a broker starts head is now the one, you know, talking about uh, some, some other people said worse, worse, worse things about, you know, some said, he funded uh, 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 pirates, or what do they call it? Uh, Confraternity. Mm -hmm. So, so many, up. so many things. And I said, okay, if, if you do, if you don't like the opinion of Professor Wally Suyinka, is this a way to rubbish the man? We can disagree without being rude, without being, you know, violent in our choice of words. So. Now, the professor, instead of allowing things to line down, he said, he's, got, he's ready to, challenge you <laughs> to, to the public debate. This is where I disagree with the, the Lumber Laureate. You don't need it. And good thing, that I said, no, in terms of level of achievement, in terms of age, culturally, everything, is not the type of person that can sit in the same podium with the Nobel laureate to, dis 
that can never do that. Believe me, the professor does not need to but see. That's, that's the, like uh, a high level of humility on the part of uh, that if he said so. He, no, he said, ah, he you know, this like Shehu Sane, he, 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 said, said he should not do it. He, he said so. Yeah, he said that in terms of level of Exposure locally, internationally, level what, of education, going to gain well, level of education, level of, level of achievement, level of everything that is never qualified. Um, to well, what is this? Uh, what is this campaign after election for these obedient guys? Because you claim to have gone to court. It's not campaign after election. It's, what is is uh, abusing people after losing an election? They are saying that they didn't lose the election. Now. They are not prepared to wait for the courts. For the courts. And what the law says is that if you were patient enough to agree to go before a court, then you should be ready to accept its outcome. Yes. That is the uh, normal thing. Mm -hmm. If you had made up your mind, okay, we'll decide this matter in court, then you yes, should be ready courts. to wait for its outcome. Because you are threatening Nigerians that you, you go on demonstration, this and that, countrywide. Do you know what you will face? Threatening judges? The threatening judges, of course, that is that is, You know, it's that he, I don't know what came over him on the day. You know, many people respond to being interviewed in many ways. What he said was completely unreasonable and unnecessary. And so he had, he had some bias for the obedient group. Hmm. So he had bias for because, this one. Because of age. So he had bias for so them. was looking for the younger person. So yeah, he so he had bias for them. In, fact, in, 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 in some of his previous uh, statements, he showed clearly that he, that is the person he, he preferred. preferred. He never said for one day that he wanted Ashwaju. No. No, he didn't. That is the person that he preferred. He didn't want that. But, you, he didn't want but that. He could. The, 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 the problem with the people that they call obedient is that even if you are the holy one, if Jesus Christ comes back to the world and he criticizes Peter Obi, they will turn against him. They will call him names. The same way that the, uh, the biblical people of the biblical era hated Jesus Christ, they will, they will do the same thing to me. I've never seen a people like this, that even the person who loves you cannot advise you, he cannot correct you. So what kind of people are you? Shoyinka loved, this was the person that Shoyinka wanted, but he didn't like the way that he spoke. I mean, let's face it, the way that he spoke was downright irresponsible, and I'm sure he knows it in his heart. You are facing the camera, you are threatening judges that they should not make the mistake of going to the inauguration arena and all that. You are telling the president, you are trying to go to the president to mm. cancel an election, power, if, power that the president doesn't have. Now, you, you, this same you, that is, were the same person who was accusing Erufai of treason just mm. because Erufai obeyed the Supreme Court and chose not to obey the president. Mm. So what we, are, what we are facing now is a Jekyll and Hyde situation. Mm. He has a split personality. Mm. That's what we are saying. In one breath, he wanted someone to respect constitutional authority, to respect the president, because the president chose to respect the judgment of the Supreme Court over the president, whereas the law itself says that the president shall obey the order of the Supreme Court. It's there. So for that reason, you said he was guilty of treason. Now you, you are facing the camera. They even try to restrain you. You wouldn't listen. You say you don't fear anybody. You don't fear anybody. You lost it. If bandits come into your house, won't you beg them? Don't I, fear anybody. I, I, I give bandits overpower your security pool, they enter your, your living room. <laughs> Won't you start begging them? When Nigerians say, I don't, I don't fear anybody, I don't fear anybody, it's because they have security. Let's go to Zamfara together without security. I know places that we can go that we may not come back alive. Let's go. Without security, let's go. You say, I don't fear anybody. You fear people, it's a lie. Bandits, if they enter your house, you will beg. You will beg. Because you can't overpower them. Where are you going to find the power? If you are going to do uh, uh, this thing, a hand combat with them, 
have you got the muscles? <laughs> and big Do men. you have the weapons that they have? <laughs> you don't. The people should be able to correct. Look at Pastor Koju. Mm. Look at what happened to him. People should be able to correct these boys. But unfortunately, I agree with, uh, with uh, um, uh, Kunleshi that, I, you know, by, uh, showing card does not need to engage these people in the <laughs> debate. It's needless. They are not Chin Wenzu. They are not Ibrahim Belo Kano. These are not academics. They are not, uh, they don't read. You, are, you think that these are academics. They are not, they are not uh, now. They are not academics. They are not Kunle Ajibade that you can argue with. You know? They are not literary people. <laughs> Ask some of them how many books they've read this year. <laughs> they won't be able to tell you. So are those the people? It diminishes you to even try to be talking about. Because they won't listen. They are mm. not ready for a healthy they argument. Don't, don't All they have is abuse people. Abuse people that. again and again and again. Because mm. that is what gives them orgasm. When you are abusing people that you know that ordinarily you cannot lace their boots. You are not good enough to lace their boots. But social media is a leveler. Mm. It allows never do worse to feel like uh, uh, feel hip, you feel like they are, they are, they, they are somebody. So, social media is the place where they reside. That is where they can abuse people that ordinarily they can't even look at them in their faces. So, there's no point, no need for an argument, no need for a debate. What are you going to debate that way? You, 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 so, you can't that. I mean, it's a mismatch for that. <laughs> exactly. It's just like mm. I don't right. think I can last uh, 10 seconds. Mm. Oh, the first, the first blow to the head, I'm gone. <laughs> I've gone to meet my maker. <laughs> so that's the thing. I said, Miss Madge, there's no need for showing card to engage that. Of course. On of what course. basis are you going to uh, be arguing with him? You see, you see, Sam Beneus man. You see, Ngugi Wachongo. These are the people that you're on the same level with them. You see, Alex Laguma. These are your own people. Don't, uh, don't go into that. Leave uh, that to to be engaging in TV. Uh, um, anchors. Those are the people that you can be engaging. Mm. All right. The quest for good roads in Nigeria.